your eyes are not deceiving you. It's NASCAR Heat 5 Next Gen Cars. Hello everybody, welcome to a new video where we are showcasing the Next Gen NASCAR Cup Series mod in NASCAR Heat 5. In the background you're seeing all the paint schemes a part of this. What is a mod? You must be on PC and I know the immediate question is how can I get it? How can I get it? Where can I get it? Blah blah blah. Right now I can tell you it is not available to the public. This is currently in beta so this is not the final mod yet. Uh, there is a lot of work to be done still uh, but it is in a a fantastic starting position and maybe even in starting position for a question that I'm going to ask at the end of the video if you want to stick around for that. We are going to be testing out this uh, mod here on track as well. This is from, uh, as usual, in the NASCAR Heat modding scene. High C, uh, as well as the team with Ozzy Cone Paints and, and everybody over there. There's a group of people that are doing a fantastic job. If you're a part of that team, you know who you are. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of the NASCAR gaming community uh, for the work that you are putting in for this community. And it is important to note, like I said, this mod currently is just a beta. So there is some work to be done. The damage model needs a ton of work and I will showcase that uh, towards the end of the video as well. I did ask around, um, you know, if there's some things that I should, you know, maybe bring up in this video. Uh, and one of the things actually as well, uh, there is uh, currently four gears in these cars, uh, not five because NASCAR Heat 5 uh, and they were, you know, of course with the Generation 6 Cup car as well as there is going to be engine sounds though. Uh, that are going to be on the way for this mod. So we're going to be getting new sounds with this uh, car, which is going to be really cool. Now with public release, there's a bit of a different plan for this mod. So the 2022 mod, which is what this is, these are 2022 cars, not 2023. But this uh, 2022 mod that goes out to the public probably, probably won't feature the next gens. It's a huge test uh, to get some bugs out and whatnot. But the 2023 mod should have the next gen cars but the 22 one will have like gen 6 cup cars with the next gen schemes and there's about four more paints to go at the time of telling you guys about this information uh, roof laps are being worked on as well as damage model and whatnot like I said um, as well as engine sounds are all being worked on uh, so you're gonna notice as we get some gameplay here um, it's you know it's NASCAR Heat 5 as usual and it's just an next gen car model the wheels and everything but you can see the same engine sounds listen in real quick same thing, uh, only four gears, so not five gears, as well as you guys know, it's it's a Gen 6 Cup car is what this game was built off of. Uh, but we come through into the race now, and I, I couldn't believe I was actually doing this, a next-gen car in NASCAR Heat 5. And I'm actually going to present the question now. If you're watching at this point in the video, uh, you know what? I'll wait to the end of the video and ask that question here now. But we were ready to race as Ross Chastain here in Kansas Speedway. I decided to check out this mod at Kansas, uh, which is a fantastic mile and a half to race at NASCAR Heat 5. And, well, Ross Chastain I was using for this video, so of course we had to do Martinsville because of iconic moments. I did not wall ride, though, because in NASCAR Heat 5 it doesn't work in this game. So, here we are, underway, though, down towards turn one. And, uh, you know, if you've played NASCAR Heat 5, you know how it's going to play. The gameplay is no different whatsoever. However, but of course the complete difference is while well, the cars that are currently in front of us on this screen and it's absolutely fantastic there are going to third person you can kind of check it out a little bit here I, I really am delighted with this mod like I said this is early beta uh, that they are currently in with their mod and it's already at a fantastic starting point I mean truly incredible uh, and you can see myself now onto the roof cam going three wide around the outside now I have very little knowledge on how they got this mod working and got the next gen into the game. Literally the only knowledge I have is quite simply they got it into the game. Now there was talks a while back and how can we do this? How can we get the next gen car model into the game? And I uh, had obviously no knowledge on the scene of how, in, how to get models into the game so I couldn't really provide the team uh, any help whatsoever. Uh, but somehow they figured it out. I didn't even ask. I said, all right, you know, I'm not going to ask any questions. Here we are uh, racing this car now up the inside of Austin Dillon there in that number three. Got Cindric there on the top as well. And, you know, playing just like good old Heat 5, which in my opinion is still the best AI NASCAR gaming experience you are going to have in NASCAR games. Now, the iRacing career mode is great, but I truly think 
that Nesker Heat 5 AI is the best around and that really excites me when we can now bring next gen cars. Now I have seen a couple 2023 paint schemes they've already done on this uh, like a Jimmy Johnson number 84. Uh, so there is some 2023 on the way and I like I said I'm going to present a big question here in just a couple of minutes time. It's not going to be a very long video. I'm not going to be one of those NASCAR content creators that tries to waste your time. So I was uh, coming towards the end of this race. Got the uh, 15th place behind the 11 of Denny Hamlin in that FedEx next gen car and, and actually kind of got stuck here behind the 11 of Hamlin. Couldn't really make much headway on him through the rest of the well final two laps which is all we had and you can see final lap here and I'm all over the back of this 11. I would not be able to beat him uh, unfortunately to the line uh, but yeah I mean as well uh, we're going to showcase Martinsville and I'm going to showcase the damage model in Martinsville right at the end but let me know uh, if you would like to see other tracks with this mod uh, in the future I could do some plate racing I'm probably going to do a standalone video for like a Daytona or a Talladega something like that but here we are now at Martinsville Speedway getting ready to roll around the paperclip in such an awesome track uh, Martinsville is of course the NASCAR Heat 5 Martinsville pretty dank you know the AI not very difficult to beat here but what is difficult to beat in Martinsville with the AI is yourself uh, you can easily beat yourself I should say now as we got underway uh, but I'm gonna drop the big question right now that, that you've seen a few minutes here and uh, of this gameplay of NASCAR Heat 5 with the next gen car should I do a career mode if I do a career mode are we going to call it like the last hurrah because we know that NASCAR gaming, we're probably not getting a new NASCAR game for a long, long time. This would be like the na last official NASCAR career mode that's not iRacing that we would probably ever do, uh, depending on where the channel goes in the future, which looks pretty dark with the state of uh, NASCAR gaming. Uh, but let me know down below. Should we do an Ask Our Heat 5 career mode? You'll be getting way more episodes than you do the iRacing career mode. Uh, a whole storyline, of course, and I've got some really cool things that I've learned from doing my F1 career mode that I could bring newly into this series. Uh, and as well, i got a whole storyline plotted in a, a prologue planned out if you guys would like to see a career mode. So uh, I will put up a poll, of course, after this video goes out, but as well, comment down below on my pinned comment. Uh, there should be a pinned comment there. Yes or no career mode you know simple as that do you want to see it do you not want to see it um that yeah as you can see though three wide on the inside of todd gilliland i was getting ready to test the damage model though i was very curious to see like i said uh remember it's beta the damage model i was told it's not very good and i'm going to test it right here boom into the uh outside wall you can see basically uh yeah it's it's not very existent right now uh you can kind of see some crumpling here and there some marks on the car uh this is probably in my opinion the thing that needs to be worked on the most is the damage model uh, of what they've gotten done because everything else is it's truly fantastic it's flawless it plays tremendously i am honestly very very impressed with what the that team has been able to do and, and everybody over there i just want to say a huge shout out to them because they are doing god's work in the nascar gaming community right now uh but you can see yeah the the damage model after hitting hard everywhere i went and tested it at a couple other tracks and it was the same thing so uh yeah there's not much of a damage model right now it's pretty slim uh but that's something that is being worked on any updates to the beta that i get uh you know sent I'm going to probably make a video on it and kind of keep you guys updated. But yeah, that's the next gen mod in NASCAR Heat 5. Can you believe it? We finally made it to maybe a little light of hope. Let me know down below your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.